Hi everyone, it's Ms. Larson here. I'm going to show you how to use Bulkit. Bulkit is a similar program to Kahoot. You can create your own quizzes. The difference is when you play the quiz, you can have different characters and you can buy tokens or earn tokens to buy different characters and it's a little bit more competitive. So when you host the quiz, there's a different types of games that you can host and they get a little bit more competitive than Kahoot. If you want to create your own Look it. You want to log into bulkit.com using your Google account and it will send you to your dashboard. I have some bulkets already created here in my dashboard, but I'm going to show you how to create a new bulkit from scratch. So you're gonna, going to use your purple toolbar. Your house is your dashboard and this next button next to the house, it has like a square and a pencil, is a create button. You want to press this button to create a new bucket. It will send you to a page that looks like this, where you will need to give a title to your bucket. I'm just going to put example, and then you could explain what your bucket is about. If you'd like, you can add, add a cover image. You can use your image gallery or upload your own. And you want to make sure you click on your privacy settings. So you wanna make this bucket public if you want anyone to play this bucket. If you need to share this bucket with a teacher or your classmates, you want it to be public. Private means it can only be played by you. You can't share this. And then there's two options for how to create your own bucket. Manual means you're creating the questions from scratch right here on bucket.com. Quizlet means you can um, import any flashcards maybe that you made on Quizlet and turn them into a bucket. Today we're going to be using the manual button and starting this from scratch. Then it says create your own set. So you just click on that button when you're ready. There you are. Now you need to add a question. This is where you put your question. So whatever question you have for your quiz, that's where you want to put it. And then you need to put your answers. It's required that you have at least two, but I like to put four questions in my bookets. So here you go. You can put one answer, then you can put another answer. You have to choose the one that's correct. So you want to add the check mark to the one that is correct, the green check mark. If you like to add a question image, you can do that too. Make sure you're putting a time limit. So for questions that may take you longer to answer, maybe you are going to take longer to read the question or read the answers, you might wanna put longer a longer amount of time on here. So maybe 60 seconds, it's in seconds. So 60 seconds would be a minute. And then if you want your answers to be random, you can just leave that checked here and then press save when you're done with this question. You can always go back and edit it if you need. The questions will pop up here. Then you'll have all your questions down here on this page. Okay, then just save the set at the end and press that save button. And it will pop up here in your dashboard sets. Um, if you need to make edits to it, you can edit it still. If you wanted to play the bucket by yourself, and just maybe practice on your own with the quiz, then you could use solo. Hosting is how you host it to other people and you have other people join in on your quiz and play your quiz. If you need to share this quiz that you created with your teacher or your classmates, you can press the link button and it'll share this quiz to your classmates or to your teachers and they are able to see the quiz. And I believe the quiz questions as well. Okay, if you wanted to host the game, I'm gonna show you how to do this. You can press the host button. So there's a bunch of different themes. Our class really likes the gold quest because you can steal your gold from other players. It's a lot of fun. These are ones that you can host. There are some on here that you can only assign for homework. So that means you're not playing it live with other players. Everyone is kind of completing this assignment or this quiz independently. So there's a bunch of different types. If you are really used to the Kahoot, you can use the Kahoot version, which is just the basic classic um, version and you can host that game. 
And we just came out, or they just came out with a new one here, which is Tower Defense, which might be a lot of fun too. I haven't played this one. All right, let me know if you have any questions on how to create your own book it. I hope this helped. Bye.